How you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we got on the menu today? We've got some cilantro lime rice. Y'all see that? And make sure y'all close that. Cilantro lime rice. And we got blue crab, potatoes, and one egg. So, what did y'all sit down to do to eat with me today? I got the uh, <clears throat> mayo mustard hot sauce mix and some lemon juice. And in here I just got butter. Onion powder, garlic powder, and uh, lemon pepper. So, let's get into this. This rice is good. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite crab is. Mine is blue. Because I can sit down and eat it. It's got a lot of meat in it. It's a little bit of work, but it's worth, to me it's worth it. So, today, y'all, we got a topic. Of runaway parents. How many people you know? When the kids turn 18, they put them out. Or when they go off to college. They move. I had a recent conversation with a young lady. That's what her mom did. Was, and I was there thinking. That is a bright idea. Run away. Reach out for them. On a serious note, y'all. These kids can't survive on these wages right now. There's no way. There's no, it's just hard. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. See all that meat? A lot of goodness in there. A lot of goodness. Mm-mm-mm. I didn't know it was a thing, but I know it used to be back in the day, it used to be a thing where you turn 18 and parents gave you an ultimatum. But, can't do it to these kids, don't they? Mm. I forget that. Just can't. These kids just can't afford to uh, live on their own. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That blue crab is good.
I said blue crab was my favorite. I think Dungeness is really my favorite. Mm -mm. What would this one say? You on the right channel? <laughs> you dropping stuff. <clears throat> but you know. It's hard out there for some adults. Trying to make it. I don't know what this world's going to come to. You know, I try to create a plan for these kids. I've offered things and tried to show them a few things, but you know, <clears throat> they got to find their own way eventually. But I'm learning to be patient with them. Y'all found somebody to do the blindfold spicy food challenge for me. I'm excited. I don't know if this video gonna come out before or after. But my son's girlfriend said she'd been eyeballing my noodles. I was like, what? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, she can do the blindfold. Spicy new chance for me. So honey, it too tell spicy? Had me burning on both ends. On both ends, it was no joke. Mmm, it's hot. Mm. Good, but it's hot. Oh, I love these. Oh, white potatoes, they so good. Creamy and buttery. I don't know what these kids gonna do, um, cause even out here in Dallas, Texas, it's so expensive, y'all. It's so expensive. To live nowadays. You're looking at a one bedroom apartment close to a thousand dollars. And if you want to live in the arts district, in the little fancy arts district downtown, baby, you playing New York prices. And people pay it. People will pay it. You know, I should have put some vinegar in here. They come out good. Shells aren't that hard, but this is a tedious, <clears throat> tedious.
tedious. So you guys, let me know what do you do. What else can you do? I probably asked this before. I wasn't praying for them. What can you, we do to help these teens? Or these little adults? Oh, yeah. I don't know what these kids going to do. I guess they're going to be doing a whole lot of room, maybe. I ain't got no sauce with y'all. If you made it this far in the video, drop me five yellow hearts. Let me know what you think about helping these kids succeed. Because it's very important that they are successful. And make the coin they need. Because everything's really about money. Everything's about money. You need money for everything. Everything requires money. Even just transportation. It's either going to be a car note or a bus ticket. Or a train ticket. It costs money to do everything. Hot, hot, hot. Mm. Did I get me? Okay. Gotta suck that meat out, y'all. I don't know what's going on with this cat. Y'all, he, uh, or she gets into this little bag. Like reusable grocery bag? 
and sits in there. Oh, that's weird. I guess as long as she hear us, she okay. Maybe she's having some separation anxiety or something. Oh, I do have a question. Do y'all think video, um, do y'all like when content creators put out videos every day? Or, like on the schedule? I don't know her lately, I've been messing up. I've been having multiple videos coming out that are not challenges. <clears throat> Typically I have a regular video come out and anything that's a challenge come out in between. <clears throat> I mean because I would love for people watching my videos but I don't want to overwhelm people with my videos either. Somebody asked me about a collab. I would love to collab. This is the only issue they have. I don't know how to um, add to a video. You know how people put people's names in the video and stuff like that? I don't know how to do that. Can I learn? Sure, I can learn. Yeah, that's the only thing. I think that might be holding me back a little bit. Mm-mm-mm. Look at the cat, y'all. <clears throat> so let y'all y'all let me know what y'all think. Oh, oh one last thing. I need your opinion on it. 
And I've said it on other videos. Uh, if we did come up with a name for our family members on this channel, what do you guys think about unicorns? Question I want to ask you. What do y'all think about unicorn? And like I said in another video, I like unicorns because you unicorns are unique. And I feel like everybody's unique. That's why you can't have comp you can't have real competition. Because no one's worked, um, followed the same path or road. Maybe similar ones, but not the exact same. And true competition requires equal footing. So to recap this whole video, what are the things we can do to help this newer generation get up and off and become successful? Also, what do you think about parents sending their kids off to college and then moving on with their life while the kids off in college. And finally, what do you think about Unicorn Crew? I'm still iffy about the whole name. So I don't do clicks. I don't. But I did get a shirt made. Yeah, it was funny. My son's friend was over here, and he, my son was cooking breakfast, and so uh, the friend was like, "I'm allergic to this. I'm allergic to that. I'm allergic to this. I'm like, well, baby, but you get your friend, get him out of here. Cause I don't take no kids to the hospital. I mean, I ain't doing doing all that." No, no, no. Mm, this video is going to be long. Best we can do is patch you up. Have the kid go duct tape. Use some excess dye that I got. 
if you cut yourself. But Fifi ain't taking nobody to the hospital. My kids I already know. You know, now it's an urgent situation. It's gotta be urgent, 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 urgent situation. Just because I don't like waiting, waiting. Because honestly, if you can do all that waiting, you're gonna see a primary doctor. I go to an urgent care center. Oh, this might be something. Y'all can help me find out. I guess I could find out more if I wanted to. About the, um, I thought your kids could stay on your insurance until they were 25 or 26. I think now they're saying it's 23. too long. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna finish up off camera. Thank y'all for coming to eat with Fifi. Leave me lots and lots of comments and let me know what topics you like to talk about. Alright, bye.